I used to be in this garage 24 7 of the day, but when I got pregnant, I even got quieter because, like, that's when everybody shot me out. And my sister talk about it all the time. How fun! Like, Literally been sitting in this garage for the past hour now. That one is drying, this one is washing. Anyways, when I used to be younger and my sister had left and it was just me after I had my daughter at 16, I used to be in this garage 24 7 of the day washing everybody's clothes, all the blankets, all the stuff. I used to be in here a lot, like a lot. When I was 16, I did the most. Like, I was the mother of all my brothers, my kid everybody in this house cooking cleaning laundry everything like i don't want to share this garage this garage looks like it's looking but i used to like literally be cleaning everything like i used to spend hours in this garage so this is giving me deja vu and then like one thing i want to say is like a lot of females don't realize how hard it is because they see other females do it other females do it because they have to because they're like they got themselves in that position of being a young teen mom I don't regret my baby girl like that was my biggest blessing I was a, I was a quiet girl growing up like I was really really quiet when I got pregnant I even got quieter because like that's when everybody shot me out and things get harder upon those times when you are the knockout girl the rumor of the city or whatever but it gets really really hard but like I, uh, I wouldn't take it back because then I wouldn't be the person I am and I wouldn't have my baby girl. But one but it's like one thing is like female like, why girl, you in high school, you are a student, like pay attention to yourself, have fun, enjoy life. Like man, boys, sex, and all that stuff will come. Like you'll still be there when you're ready. You know what I mean? Like if I was in high school, me and my sister talk about it all the time. If we could do high school all over again, and we have the mindset that we have right today and the like if we were if we, we were who we are today back then like we'll be a hundred percent like high school would have been way different like we always like go to my uh, my brother's football games because they're going to the same exact high school that we went to and we just look around the school like we went there all that stuff and it's just like if we could do it again it would be a hundred times better but like if you're in high school if you were in school enjoy school like try out for all the sports just like enjoy every single moment because like those times are like the easiest time because after high school baby it ain't so easy and fun like they're just memories being created but honestly if you're in high school don't worry about them damn boys because like they're gonna come and go smash and pass and that they're, they're gonna be it like have your fun enjoy your fun work because that's one thing when i was in high school 16 i wish i worked my ass off but we grew up in an african home a female cannot work that's crazy because at 16 my brothers could be working but at 16 i couldn't be working even if i wanted to even if i hide it like i couldn't but my brothers was working and making their own money like they started driving in high school and we had like i mean i started i started driving in high school too but like that's because i had to teach myself but honestly like work make your money like be that girl at school like honestly like if you're in high school or if you're in school in general just have fun enjoy it like, and relax relax have fun like have fun you guys i think i need to get out of this garage because it's giving me a little too much deja vu so, but honestly though, on a real talk, like on a real note though, have fun for all my females, for all my 
all my males like all my boys like have fun enjoy life work your ass off like stop making your money while you're in high school like truthfully like stop making your, your money while you're in high school because by the time you leave high school it gets really really easy for you if you start making your money in high school and you already got a car like right there you always halfway situated so like start making your money in high school have fun enjoy prom enjoy homecoming go to all the games try for sports like get it together trust me maybe my, i'd be my brothers i'd be like you better take your ass to work after football but anyways have fun enjoy life you're like you're young you're young you're young have fun that's a little pep talk from big sis bayer so i got all the clothes in those look like body bug body bugs buddy bodies bags that's what it looked like but it took me forever not forever but like just come up those stairs and bring this big ass no this one was decent this joint was heavy heavy but anyways so right now i'm trying to decide whether i want to section the clothes off and then I just know whose clothes I'm putting away tomorrow. Or should I section the clothes off and then put my clothes away and do the kids' clothes tomorrow? But it's already like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock in, uh, in the morning. So I'm thinking like I'm going to section off the clothes. And then I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and fold the clothes tomorrow. Because two kids to feed, two kids to put to bed. So... I think I'm gonna go with the second option. I'm gonna section them off and then fold them tomorrow. Cause tomorrow's another day, baby. What's popping, you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Baya. Welcome. All right, you guys. This is literally just a weekly video because me and the kids was out of clothes. As you know, we was living in two places for the last four weeks so when we officially moved to this house me and the kids had no clothes we were in out of everything like literally everything so i had to like wash all of our clothes all of our stuff and literally this time around once my daughter had started school so she had no school clothes either so i had to wash literally everything so i have my washer my wash is literally working it's fine it's good so my dryer because we don't have a section for the dryer in this uh place but we it fits in our storage unit our storage room so we put it in there so we have to order like the plugs and stuff from amazon because we couldn't find it in hobby lobby or home goods or none of that so we couldn't find it in the store so we have to order it so while i was we were waiting for that to come in I'm washing the clothes here and then I decided to go wash dry my clothes at my mom's house and that was like the biggest headache I literally forgot how stressful that is and uh, it was just so stressful and it took so long but I'm grateful that I got it done so here I'm folding all the clothes and putting stuff away as you know my closet is outside of our room literally next to it so I gotta take all my stuff outside and my closet is really really big it's enough space for me okay for me because i don't have that much stuff and um after that i ended up turning on the kids clothes and the kids clothes is always the ones that just take so long because they're so small and they got so many clothes so really this is just like a weekly vi video i hope you enjoy the video yeah <laughs> So as you can see right here, I put my clothes on the rack. I don't know what you call it, but I'm calling it a rack. I put my clothes on there, specifically my t-shirts on there because as you can see in my closet, it doesn't have, like I don't have where I could put my t-shirts where I can hang my clothes. And I really just don't like my t-shirts folded because like the stuff I wear on a daily, you know? So I just put all the t-shirts that I wear every single day on the rack because it helps but this is how my closet looks like it's not like the best uh, the, but i just love the space like i genuinely love the space and i still got more space up there now but, that i'm done with my stuff i'm gonna go on i'm gonna go on and do the kids clothes right now i'm gonna 
do their clothes, make the beds, and yeah. I need to get this whole entire place together, like the whole. <laughs> Convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you a Kiki on the river. Message say deliver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand, we got been fucking for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog, but you don't put me in a kennel. Girl, put a muscle on it, all that barking over dinner. I was fucking with you when you had a tiny presidential. You got better when you met me in that ain't coincidental. Tried to bring the best out, you guess I'm not an influential. Guess I'm not the one this man. My daughter's pants, you know, jeans for school. Why is it like I can fit in this joint? Yo, look at it. <laughs> is this mine or? Hold up. 12. No. <laughs> Why do I look like I can literally wear that? Like, I'm that sure. Is this mine or? It's like, no, it's not mine. Oh my gosh, she. Look, like, I know that like, I'm. She gotten big. Like, she's grew. She got taller. And she's like right here to my chest. It makes sense. But at the same time, that's just, that was just my baby, like, last year, yesterday, you know, like, that's Christina. But, like, why is this pants look like it's half my size, like, oh, my God. Well, she already took all my crop tops because she can fit in my crop tops. But it's like, hello? Oh, my God. School jeans t-shirts etc etc It just look like I'm doing re renovation in this room right now. But anyways, um, I'm going to move the beds the way they are. I don't like the way they are. And as you can see right here, as you can see right here, the LED lights are literally like on the side of my daughter's bed. And I don't like that. So if, so if the LED lights are going to be here, I don't want her bed here. So I think I'm going to move her bed. And as you can see, little details on the bed little details but i think i'm gonna move them 
and organize it another way. So let me see how I want to put it before. I don't know. Let's see. So this is how I ended up putting it, which is like regardless where I, where I put the beds, it looks good, and it has so much space. Their room is big. The problem is I like this setup. They like the setup, but the, I don't know if it's a problem or not. Is that like? And it's just like a whole gap in between their bed. There. Which is like yeah, it don't bother okay. me, it don't bother them, but it's like yeah, I think I'm gonna try to see if I can fit this yeah. in there because that's where their toys is. So I'm trying to see if I can fit in there. If it fits, the bed is staying like this. If it doesn't, the beds are moving. See, they're already enjoying it, so it's like. Hmm. So this is the bathroom that needs to be cleaned out. The bathtub is just a fresh clean, like it just needs to be cleaned out as you can see. It needs to be cleaned out and then, ooh, and then this needs to be cleaned out and then I want to get those down because the kids can't reach them. I feel like it's cluttered, it's cl I feel like it's cluttered with stuff that I don't need or we don't need. But I just need like decluttered everything and see like what's good. to like put it up and put our stuff on it because I just feel like it's just hanging all over the bathtub like to just have all of our washcloth our soap and everything like they have a section where we could put it but I really don't want to put it there like I don't want it there because so I was going for the silver then I realized like silver would just blend in with the rest of the of the bathtub you know and if I get black one it will literally just pop out like when you walk in here and I mean when you walk in the bathtub it's like the first thing that you see when you go take the shower so that's all we got for now that's how it looks like. I love it. I'm gonna go get more um finger scrub because it is so easy to run out of this. So I'm gonna get some more shaving cream, cleanser. I'm gonna put the rest of the stuff after I take it out of there. But I love it. Look, it's so pretty. I love it. It just looks empty right now, but. I guess it's not gonna slide down because it has it has this to like hold on to so it won't it won't move it won't budge and so like you use strength to like actually push it up but I guess it won't slide down so it's gonna stay here Yeah. 
you're not supposed to open it. Yeah. So I'm trying to see where everything goes. Where my stuff goes, the kids, the dad. Yeah. So right now I'm lost. I just did my makeup. I just washed my makeup stuff, so. While the kids was downstairs eating, I went ahead and started putting their fingerprints, you know, up because they wanted to put it up. So I went ahead and just put it up. And I went ahead and made their bed while they were downstairs. But unfortunately, they, you know, they finished and found me upstairs. So after that, I ended up making their beds, putting up their LED lights because the LED lights was literally falling. So I had to figure it out how to keep it up and it stayed up until right now it's still up thank god so i went ahead and changed their bed sheets and made the bed and we ended up seeing our good night prayers i actually mopped as well because the upstairs needed to be mopped so i i went ahead and mopped as well and then we said our good night prayers and that was it for the night What's popping you guys? I know this video was super 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 long. If you watch literally the whole video, thank you. I even have thank you. I even at the beginning. Thank you. Um this is for it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for future content. I'm gonna be doing more vlogs than usual. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for your content. That is good. That is great. Thank you for our baby break.
Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Say, la, 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 la. Oh. <laughs> All right, night, night.